and he's been given the role as peace envoy by the United Nations, America and two other, two other groups here. Yeah. This man, for, while he was Prime Minister, went to Bilderberg meetings. This is the, these are the, the, the Bilderberg is the organisation that no one has ever heard about for 40 years because the press and the media have been paid off and bought to keep silent. They're the people who organised the European Union for the reason of creating a one bank system inside Europe so that uh, them, America, Asia and Africa could have all one central bank. So they could have four banks that control the entire planet and control every single person on this planet and tax them from the source. Yeah. Now, Tony Blair has done their job and their bidding by, by invading Iraq, by um, invading parts of Europe he did exactly what was required, which is why he's been given like 25 million pounds, yeah, as a peace envoy for research. Yeah, this is a ex-prime minister. Then he was paid by several Arab countries, more time million pounds, because they got a share of Iraq. They get in shares of Afghanistan. Yeah, this is the so-called peace envoy. He's a mass murderer. Yeah, and everybody knows he's a mass murderer because he did a deal with George Bush knowing there was never a single nuclear weapon in Iraq. They in America and Britain knew this, yeah? yet he forced that down the public's throat by saying, oh, we could, we could be nuked within 24 hours. Now, what madness is that? Yeah, to sell the country that, that lie. Scare and tactics, basically. Yeah, scare, scare tactics. tactics. Try to scare uh, us so we, we can go to war. I, I mean, what, I mean the, the, the issue is, why should we talk about Tony Blair? The only thing that should come out about Tony Blair is that he's been indicted for war crimes. Because we have a thing called The Hague, where they seem to be... They, they're quite happy to grab people out of Africa and say, yeah, we're going to put you in a tribunal and take you out of your country because you represent the international um, community, yeah, in terms of justice, yeah? But you can't take any... You find any Western or any European um, Prime Minister who's committed to war atrocities will never appear in in The Hague, yeah? But someone in Slovenia will, yeah? Because they want Slovenia inside Europe, yeah? Inside their criminal system. But we're living in, fortunately, one of the greatest moments in human history. And I don't know how much the rest of the country or the planet realises this. This is the first time every single person, Joe Bloggs on the street, can turn around and say, you know what? We don't actually have to listen to our, 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 our MPs. We don't have to, have to listen to our police force because we now know we can actually turn around and say to them, you are the mindless thugs. You are the looters. You are the one burning children in Iraq and in Libya and murdering them. I mean, we've got, we, we currently have a so-called prime minister called David Cameron. Now, this man has led an invasion in Libya. As, as, as I may have said earlier, uh, in 2001, the US government yeah. and under Donald Rumsfeld engaged and signed a deal to invade Libya, Syria and seven other um, um, Middle Eastern countries. They call them Middle Eastern, but we're talking North Africa and Saudi countries, yeah? Um, to invade those countries, yeah? It started to happen already. Now they're using drone strikes and whatever else, you know? But this is our Prime Minister who attended a Bilderberg meeting and who was told this is what you will do as a Prime Minister. Yet you was elected by the people of Britain to look after Britain. But foreign entities are giving you the commands of how you should operate in government. Yeah? We've got the collapse of the European Union going on. We've got the collapse of the Euro. Yeah? Yet our Prime Minister isn't saying anything. All he's, all he's saying is oh, we don't have nothing to do with it but our money goes to the International Monetary Fund which then pops back in to the into the European Union. Now, today we're at Stop the War March. Yeah. There is another war internally. Right now, inside Europe, Germany, who was part of setting up this economic union, this fraudulent system, is currently printing Deutschmarks. I'll repeat this. Germany is currently printing Deutschmarks. They're not telling anybody and they're not telling their other Euro partners because they need to print, it takes about five or six months to print enough euros, sorry, not euros, Deutschmarks, to put in all the banks in Germany before they ditch the euro. Now, when they ditch the euro and screw every other member of state of the euro, they, they have no debts because they no longer have a euro. What they have is their Deutschmark and their currency back. No country should have ever, ever joined the euro. However, they attacked Greece, but I'll tell you where the elitist criminals went wrong. Yeah, they made one mistake. They publicly turned around and said to Greece, the, the bastion of European democracy, that you know what, you can have our money, 
but we want your country and your people and we want to tax them to death. And that's why the collapse of Europe is on its way. But honestly, as I said to you, the Deutsche Mark is currently being printed. Definitely. Stephen, talk to me about war. Let's talk about war for a second. Do you think the war is going to end in the next, let's say, 10 years? In the next 10 years? Well, considering we have several wars operating around the world, True. not just Pakistan, Syria, we've got loads of wars that are being stimulated by the US. Currently, and I'm going to touch on this very critically, there's a thing called AFRICOM that was set up by George Bush. Now, we have a, you know, some of us had hoped that a black president, Obama, would do something decent, you know, not just for black people, but everyone, yeah? What he did was he followed through on AFRICOM, which is the militarization of Africa by the US. They are establishing bases across Africa, in particular, Libya and Somalia, yeah, sorry, Ethiopia. Yeah, so they can run drone strikes across Africa and across the continent, yeah, while training African troops in different countries to operate under their bases. Under, in other words, when the Americans say go, you go, and if they, you have to kill your own people, that's what they want you to do, yeah, and people need to wake up to this. This was done by George Bush, a, a mass murdering criminal himself, yeah, and it's easy for someone to say this, yeah, but the fact is it's true, and you can't deny it. There's not a person out here that can deny it. And if they are, they're deluding themselves. Yeah, because they listen to the mainstream media, not the facts of reality. Okay. And but, it's, sorry, it's I'm going to answer that question. Because you said to me, what's going to go happen with the wars? Yeah. I'll tell you what's going to happen. If we as a people do not take out our government, yeah, do not take out the elite, and I mean remove them, yeah, remove them from their positions of power, stand on what we call the mile, yeah, and stop them from trading, yeah, Put the planes on the ground because every union needs to get together. We need to remove the, pre the the prime minister. Yeah, we need to remove those people at the head of the police forces, and it needs to be done soon. Because if not, what they're doing, yeah, is going to come right down to your front door, and there's going to be bombs on your streets. And we know about it already because when the IRA was bombing London, they were getting the bombs from British Secret Service, which is a fact that came out in court in Ireland. Okay, every single bomb that blew up in Ireland was supplied by British secret services. Okay, so that's a fact, it's a reality, it's hidden from you, but now you're getting it. Yeah, Definitely. so if you want change, if you want the wars to stop, yeah, because they've all been fake and manufactured, yeah, by the bankers who finance everybody, by the defence people who have got their hands tied with inside the banking system, and our governments who have been bought off left, right and centre. Yeah, and that's why the only way it's going to change here yeah, is if we the people go berserk on the, our governments and look at Occupy New York, yeah, they, what they're demanding is give us our taxes and our pensions back because where is those trillions that you said just disappeared? They didn't disappear, somebody pocketed them, yeah, the billions of people's pensions have gone, where, where did they go? Because someone paid cash in, yeah, to get nothing back. So, once again we go back to the criminal elite who are running the show, yeah?